Thank you MBMM for giving me this opportunity to tell my story. My name is Pranim Magar. I was born on January 17th, 1999 on a small Burmese refugee camp called Tima Refugee Camp, which was located in Japan, Nepal. My family is from Bhutan who were exiled from their country by their king in the 1990s. There are six people in my family. I'm the youngest son of Chief Bhattu Magar and Dambar Kumar Magar. I have one sibling who is my older brother, Dinas Magar, who is married to Manisa Rai. My grandmother is Karnamaya Magar and my grandfather is Garjaman Magar, who passed away during our process of coming to the U.S. We came to the United States on May 28, 2009, and we have been living here in Hope, Massachusetts since then. Champas, which means Southerners, like my grandparents, parents, and other relatives, fled or was deported from Bhutan during the protests against the Bhutanese state and the monarch by some of the Lotsampas demanding the democracy and different state. This event that took place was ethnic cleansing at its best. The government of Bhutan directed discriminatory citizenship laws directed against ethnic Nepalese that stripped about one-sixth of the population of their citizenship and paved the way for expulsion. One of the policies that was adopted was a one nation, one people policy in the 1980s, which was adopted because the government was worried that growing ethnic Nepali minority threatened their culture and the political dominance of the majority Drukpa people. This policy banned the teaching of the Nepali language in schools and required residents to dress in the traditional clothing of Drukpa. Many were arrested and tortured. Houses were destroyed, people were forced off their land, and many other abuses occurred. Witness security forces made them sign forms renouncing claims to their homes and homeland. They made it seem like Los Champas were leaving the country willingly, happily, that they weren't forced to leave by snapping their photos after making them smile. Their journey took about three days on foot just to reach the border with India, from where they reserved trucks and buses which took them to Nepal. Khmer camp was located vertically alongside the Khmer River. The camp was divided into four main sectors, A through D, and 17 subsectors, A1 through A4, B1 through B4, C1 through C4, and D1 through D5. Khmer was abuted by medical centers and a small army barrack in the center. There were three schools in Khmer camp. Refugee life was not easy, even with organizations like UNHCR helping, our refugees still face numerous challenges and issues. Food rations were distributed every two weeks, yet people had to buy extra food to stay fed. Camp condition was initially rife with malnutrition and diseases, which later uh, improved markedly. Education was among the best services provided within the camps, generally better than in the surrounding countryside of Nepal. I attended Oasis Academy Extension 1, where I got my education and learned English, Nepali, and a little bit of Jonka. Jonka is the official language of my motherland. As a student, I used to wake up early in the morning, get ready for school, and then walk to the school with my friends. We had to walk back home during our lunch break and then walk back to school after we ate our lunch. After school, I used to complete my homework, then go out with my friends to play near the farmlands. My father was a teacher, research teacher, and ESL in charge. My mother was a nutrition assistant, mother and child health worker, MCHW, and health educator. Some of the culture shocks when we came to the America was food, nudity, clothing, and use of toilet paper and customs. Now I am a student at University of Massachusetts Law, where I am majoring in criminal justice with a minor in psychology. We became U.S. citizen in the summer of 2015. I have been an advocate for a goodness community of law since 2019. I have worked with MBMM in assisting our community. I have been volunteering as a tutor at the ACE Center. Now I tutor on a remote learning platform Thank you to the all organizations like MBMM for making our transition into American life easier.